up dreamy nail team i'm back with another video and this video was actually a request from a young lady i'm on my nail groups on facebook she was like you know i've done my acrylic and everything and um i'm having problems with lifting and i looked at her picture and i was just like okay well you know i thought she like it was thin i thought she used a dip method but she was like no i did acrylics so i was like okay well let me just uh you know let me just make a little video for you so in this video you can see like i got i was gonna do three nails you know what i'm saying i'm gonna do a full set of nothing because i didn't plan on wearing acrylic but I was like, I could do a few nails and just soak them off and it'd be nothing. So here it is, you know, I'm prepping three nails and um, I'm getting this extra skin off, you know, I'm pushing up the cuticles and everything, you know how you have to do it. You push up the cuticles, you scrape up all the extra skin, but I'm not finna like use my cuticle clippers. I was showing her like, uh, don't use that. Get your cuticle ball and do that first. You know what I'm saying? Don't just go straight and cutting off your cuticles because your cuticles protect your fingers from bacteria. Like, you know, like I know a lot of people on the internet, whatever, they cut all their cuticles off their fingernails from ball. You know, they have ball fingernails and that's the thing, but I don't want no ball fingernails. I need some protection. So, oops, excuse me. So here it is, you know what I'm saying? Like, go ahead and use that cuticle ball to get off the dead skin. Not all your cuticles is get the dead skin off. That's what that's for. And then, like, um, in a little bit, you see that uh, I use the cuticle clippers, but I'm gonna use it to clip off the extra skin that's sticking up. Anyway, I'll show y'all that. But what happened was I was recording this on my phone, and then I was recording on my phone. And I tried to like upload stuff, you know what I'm saying? I was just gonna send it to her. I wasn't gonna make no video. I was just gonna send it to her and just be like, hey, you know, here's your personal video, just like that. But um, through Messenger, here it is. It only allows you to send so big of a video. It's gotta be so many megabytes or gigabytes or whatever. And my video, it was kind of long, so, you know, I was like, you know what? I just told her, I said, hey, I'm going to upload it to my YouTube page, and you can get on here, boo, and you can see, you know what I'm saying, like, you can see what I'm doing. So, that's what I'm be doing, me doing a little nail talk, um, I'm hitting that cuticle. So, what it was, she had, uh, on her picture, she sent me, it seemed like she just had an acrylic overlay over her natural nail. And then I was like, okay, I'll do that. And I'll also send you a video of, uh, I said send you a video. I'll also do an example of a nail tip. And I was like, yeah, you know, just to throw that out there. Cause like, why not? You know, I'm able to do it. So, um, I prepped up my three nails and y'all, whenever I went, so you can see right now, I'm getting it. I'm clipping that piece of that dead skin. I ain't going around clipping up all my cuticles. I'm just getting that little piece of dead skin. You're supposed to pinch it you're supposed to pinch it until it clips and that's it we done it looks good but um anyways i did my three nails i was prepping my three nails and um i'm gonna tell y'all i started to do the, i did the first one which is my index finger i was like okay and then i was like gonna do the second one i'm gonna do that a plain color but then i was like uh what's the point of that because i mean I don't know, my mind, I just changed my mind like super quick. I was like, okay, you know what, I ain't gonna do it. So I really just did acrylic on my index finger and on my ring finger. So when y'all see it, you know, y'all be like, dang, dang, you could have, I know, like I could have, but I didn't. So, cause I was like, I ain't trying to waste no time right now. I got other stuff I need to do, but I do want to help some people out if I can. And they really ask me for advice. And I'm flattered, you know, cause I just started doing that a little bit over a year ago like i'm not like you know a dawn at it but hey i might you know i must be doing something right so we hit me up for advice so yeah i'm just going here i'm showing her you know um you know uh get this fingernail file your fingernail buff it up uh shape up your tip that's what i'm doing
got the little stuff filing and everything. We use a little alcohol to clean off the dust. Satterland dehydrator and then you know like I said I had pre-recorded this I talked to someone already like I was going to send it to her so I was saying hey you want to put this dehydrator on all your fingers and like I said I'm just going to do these three and that's what I do and usually I try to wait a little bit between putting the dehydrator and the primer I forgot where I seen or heard or read I don't remember what kind of method it was but anyways I got the knowledge that you should wait at least 30 seconds 30 to 60 seconds between um like you know what I'm saying I'm trying to give it a little time oh, it was 30 seconds but you're supposed to wait 30 to 60 seconds they say you're supposed to let that dry and then they say you're supposed to let your primer dry so what I usually do is I'll put my um dehydrator on and I'm like, okay, and I have like a little station on the side, and I'll put my dehydrator over there. And then I'll get my primer, and I'll shake my primer up while I'm doing that. You know, you're working on 10 fingers, so you have more time. And um, while I have more time between, you know, it'd be like 30 to 60 seconds. So then I put my primer on, and then when I put my primer on, you know what I'm saying, like, let that dry for whatever. While I'm doing that, I'm putting my stuff up. Like, I'm putting it up like I'm done with it. I used it. I don't want to see it no more. We done. That's how. I, that's what I do to help myself. Remember, because sometimes you know people be doing nails and be like, I don't know if I put the primer on. I don't know if I put the dehydrator on. Finish what you're doing. Put that primer on. Put that dehydrator on first. Put it to the side. Like if you start, I like to start something on the left. Left mean it ain't dead yet. Right mean I'm done. Right, right. Put it right up. That's what I do it for. So I have it on the left. Use it. Boom, boom, boom. Put it on the right. Get my stuff back, get my primer, get it on the from the left, put the room, room. I don't put it down on the right until I'm done. I put it on the right, put it right up, I'm done. You ain't gotta get no fusion out of it, you done. Don't stop until you finish doing that step though. Don't do three fingers with the primer dehydrator and you be like, dang, did I do it? I did that hand, but you missed two fingers. You know what I mean? Like just finish it up real quick. It don't take that long. Just do 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 do. But anyways, I was telling her that I was showing the um the monomer I like to use, you know, that's my favorite. I use, I love using that monomer. It's EMA. I was showing her that, you know. Um, and then on her picture, she had like a blue and a glitter nail. It was super cute. But like I said, I was just trying to show her that. And I was like, okay, I'm going to use this blue. And um, I was also showing her the brush. Like this brush I'm using. This is the brush from the beauty supply, y'all. It's a brush that costs like... How much they cost now? I think they like three dollars. I think they like two, three dollars for the little brush. It's the size eight. What's it called? Goldfinger. It's a Goldfinger acrylic brush. You get that thing at the beauty supply. You know how they have the little nail section. They have the the uh, nail tip. They got the jewels. They got the glue. They got the acrylic. They got all that. You get that fingernail. Uh, I said fingernail. You get that acrylic brush right there in that section. And that brush worked really well. Like that was my first acrylic brush. Um, I've ever had and then I ended up spending money like on Savaland brushes and everything else I'm gonna spend $30 $36 $40 or whatever just thinking like you know oh I'm watching all these videos they say you need a good brush with a woo but the whole time is you really just need to practice you can have the best brush but if you don't practice your stuff it don't matter how good your stuff is you just not gonna do it so here it is I don't use some good product and everything in the past and I'm just like, oh my goodness, like, I need to get my skill up. My skill wasn't up. Here it is. I got a uh, beauty supply acrylic brush. And look, I'm doing so much better. And that's a good brush, too. You could clean that thing in alcohol. I said alcohol. My goodness. You could clean that thing in acetone. And the bristles would not fall apart. Yeah, I clean this brush with acetone, and I know a lot of people are like, you're not supposed to use acetone to clean your brushes out, but um, I watched a lot of older people, or old school people, you know what I'm saying, that's been in the game for a long time, and then when they say that you can use acetone, I said, bet, I'm gonna do it. And then, them brushes do not mess up, them brushes not mess up. I done had that brush for like two years. 
and look at it. Smooth as butter. Can't nobody tell me nothing. So that's what I'm saying. Like, I guess on certain brushes you can't use acetone because it fall apart and everything. But with this brush that you get from the beauty supply store for three or four dollars, yes, you can. So don't be stressing yourself out on a brush stitch, okay? So um here it is. I'm applying this, you know, I'm applying this acrylic. Now this powder, the blue powder is satellite, but this pink powder. This is from AliExpress, and y'all, I never ordered from AliExpress before, and this is my first time ordering. This is months ago, too. Like, this thing, like I said, I just be busy and everything, but, uh, yeah, I use this powder, and when I tell y'all, this pink is cute. I love this pink. It's super cute, and it's smooth. Like, it's not chalky, and you know some name brand uh, acrylic powders be chalky, you know, and I was like dang and it was cheap like you see all that in that little container all that stuff in the little container was like $2.49 and I was like $2.49 for some acrylic powder that's good for some good base man stop playing with me I'm gonna do this all day but you know I'm gonna use my stuff up first because I'm just not gonna just go crazy don't go acrylic crazy just you know. but anyway yeah and if y'all wondering where I got that container from got that container from Dollar Tree they have like the little um they come in a four pack and they over there by the uh, arts and crafts section. So go over there by the arts and crafts section and get your little container. You put your powder in there and everything. You know, it clips tight and everything. So you straight. And here it is. I'm showing you, you know, I put that, um, I, got a I put that uh, acrylic in. I, I tucked in to my cuticles. It smoothed out. It looks good. I did a little ombre, you know, because hers was like an ombre. It was cute. It was like the top of the nail was blue and at the bottom was like a gold glitter. And I was like, that's cute. I could do that. You know, so here it is. I'm just smoothing it out. And, um, yeah. So this is when I had the thought. I was like, you know, I prepped my middle finger. But I, uh, I really don't feel like doing it. So here it is. Um, I had put a tip on my ring finger. I was like, well, let me go ahead and just do this real quick. And let me try to do the uh, ombre like she had. So this acrylic powder is seven land. It's a little glitter. I think it's called, um, no, it's not called Goldie White. It's called something, y'all. I don't know. Hold on. gold y'all it's called glitter gold and um i was doing this and everything now i will tell y'all this while i was doing this ombre on this i don't know about y'all but my ring finger i have the hardest time my ring finger so when i was doing my ombre it was not on brand like i wanted it to but that was on me it wasn't on nobody else it went on the product it wasn't on nothing it was on me it was the way i had laid it down so, um, when I first lay it down, y'all gonna be like, ooh, fam, that just, that ain't it. But trust and believe, you need to trust the process. And I'm telling you, if you just, like, stick with it and use your imagination, be creative, you gonna find a way to fix that nail, okay? So, here it is, you know, like I said, this is a good brush. It's got enough, uh, it's got enough sturdiness. Look at that. Blend it in, blend it in, and you can tuck it in. And it's just it's just a good brush, y'all. Y'all need to mm -mm. look. I think I was saying something about the glitter because uh the glitter was getting everywhere. But I was saying, you know. I was saying something about the tip of the brush. I was saying something though. I was saying something relevant to this brush. This brush has been showing me the truth, y'all. I've been making acrylic uh, press on, and when I tell y'all it's been the truth, this brush been the truth. I got seven land brush and everything, and the acrylic sticks to it so bad. Like I 
thought it was me, you know? And I'm the type of person I'd be like, okay, maybe I was doing something wrong. Let me try it again. Let me try it again. But acrylic always sticks to that brush, and I have the hardest time with that brush. And, you know, that's when I said, look, I'm over here talking about it now. You don't need that brush. You get you a little, look, look, that's size 10. And that's size 8 on the left. You see that? You see what I'm saying? Like, come on. Anyway, uh, I was having the hardest time getting that acrylic out of that Savaland acrylic brush. And, um... It just, I don't know, this, like I said, this brush is going to give me any problem, so. Okay, y'all, here I go. Look how I place that bead. Now, when you do an ombre like this, let me tell you where I messed up at. I placed that bead, right, and I'm trying to get it straight. Okay, I'm getting it straight. Now, I should have hurried up and got it straight with, with the brush. I should have hurried up and wet the brush, and you feather it down. That's how you do your ombre. You're supposed to feather that down. So to feather that down, and then the way I had my finger, I didn't have it angling straight down. You see how it's running on the side? When you do your nails, your finger is supposed to be down, downwards. And I had it flat a few times, I'm trying to fix my mistake. And look, my acrylic is drying. Look, my acrylic drying. Come on, let's feather it down. It ain't feathering like it needs a feather. When you do ombre, you got to get that thing like. As soon as you put it on. So that was my mistake. That's why I said I know what I made a mistake at. Because I did and I said, oh, this ain't it. This is not it. But it's all good because we can fix it. You know what I'm saying? Because we are creative beings. We can do this. But look at me trying to trying to beat the acrylic girl. Look at me. Let me tuck it in. Tuck it in. Tuck. brush is good for tucking it's good for everything it's good for application and everything look i said okay okay let me know that was a lot of product you see what i'm saying that was a lot of look how thick it is it was thick oh my dang what am i gonna do Y'all, I see y'all was trying to fix it. Stuff is drying up, nay. Okay, here I go. I said, well, if I had a little bit here, I could try to fix it, right? Okay, you can do that, okay? But, um, uh, I think I'm too far gone. I Make sure that you don't have product on your cuticle whenever you're applying acrylic because if you do, that will cause lifting as well. So that's why I say make sure that you tuck. You see how I'm bending it? When I'm tucking in. You do that. Look at me trying to blend it again. I blended that top, but that bottom sits. I just should have. Mm -mm. But I was like, okay, it's looking like something, which it is looking like something. But um, you don't want to keep adding product. You know, that's when your nail gets all bulky. You'll see my nails a little bulky on this. Mm -hmm, look, I'm still trying to ombre it. Boy, mm -mm, mm.
So anyway, yeah, I'm cleaning this brush off in acetone. Look at that. Look at that. I'm trying to get all that glitter off too, because glitter sticks to everything. So I'm doing that. Look at that brush. What's wrong with the bristles? Nothing. You have to seal the cuticles so when sealing the cuticles a lot of people like to use the uh, comb bit and I honestly do not I don't use the comb bit but I was just trying to like you know show an example hey this is what you use this is what you can use and this is how you use it see how I got it angled to use I like to use the cylinder bit which I'm about to uh, switch out because I feel like I can I don't know it just feels better to me use the cylinder bit but you have to make sure you seal that cuticle though that's another thing why people have lifting and nails pop off like you have to do that And as y'all seen, I did not, um, I did not put any clear acrylic on there because I was already saying, like, I was like, I do not want this to look like this when I'm done, like, filing it off. 
so don't think oh my gosh you didn't you just put a clear acrylic on your nail um whenever you're done with the ombre and everything else i didn't on purpose So I'm going to show y'all in a minute what I did with this nail. But this is another lesson, you know what I'm saying? Like, learn from your mistakes and don't get messed up. If the nail don't come out how you want it to, you can finesse it or fix it up a certain type of way. You got jewels, you got glitter, you got uh, fingernail polish, you got nail art brushes, you got stickers, um, you got charms. Like, I could have did a lot with this nail. And you wouldn't even know that I did this. Like, you were like, you did that on purpose, girl.
done, got them polished, buffed, everything else. Look at that. They super cute. Now, the index, I'm going to leave it alone, but this ring finger, let me show you how you can fix this up. So, you get you a, a nail art bottle with the brush in it from Dollar Tree. Now, look. You see how I'm doing it? You see how I'm finessing it? I got my pinky on my finger. That's how you balance your stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I got to shake. You know, you all good. Put that pinky on the finger or the hand or whatever, and then you balance that thing. And look at that. Done. I said, hold on, it's a little spot there. Let me work on that. Let me let me hit it again. Let me hit it one more time. Just, you know. Just a little spot. Place that pinky back on there. What? Just like that. Look at that. You wouldn't even know. You've been like, girl, you did that on purpose. You did that ombre like that on purpose and everything. The perfect imperfection like for real look at that it's not done i want to add something else i was thinking do i want to do a charm do i want to add um, a plastic charm do i add a sticker and i said you know i got these little jewels that i was working on i was using when i was working on my press on let me use it and i got my super duper glue oh and it wasted it was too much glue it just jumped out the bottle but it's all good we're gonna wipe it up and then i'm gonna get um my pen and pick up a jewel we're gonna place it right there because that's what that little imperfection is and everything it's okay we're gonna fix it we're gonna fix it i know y'all it would look so much better if i did my middle finger but i didn't so like i said i ain't got time this is not something i'm gonna keep on my hands like i'm just trying to use it as an example so boom and then there you go right we put up my super duper glue there you go and boom, like, there it is. I'm going to put this top coat on it. And you know what I'm saying? That's it. Like, that now looks super cute. If you haven't, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.